Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician, and if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. In this episode, we're going to talk about four important reasons not to talk to a friend or family member when you have trouble sleeping. Hey there, super excited you tuned in for Insomnia Insight number 295, which I, I think is an important one. And, and um, here's the thing, I... Um, I'm I'm writing these kind of blog posts uh, uh, two or three times a, t times a week that I post on um, on LinkedIn as well as on my Facebook page. If you like Daniel Erickson, you'll see them pop up there. And I'm I'm secretly actually kind of building material for a book that I hope uh, to have uh, uh, published maybe in like six months or something like that. We'll see. But anyway. Today I was I was uh, you know writing on about a topic that I believe is important, which is why you should actually not talk to a friend or family member when you have a lot of trouble sleeping, and you know the the uh, the reason this is kind of like co contradicts kind of normal wisdom is that our friends and family members are so good to talk to because they always have our back, you know they always have our best intent in mind, but the thing is they don't understand insomnia, so. It's, it's very rarely helpful. And by the way, I'm not talking about, you know, like if you tell somebody like, oh, I didn't really sleep that great yesterday. And that's normal. Everybody has that. They'll probably just be like, oh yeah, you know, that happens to me too, blah, blah, blah. But if it's you're like, if you're really struggling, if you're like, you know, you, you, you're, you're really having a lot of trouble, that's when it's best to avoid talking to friends, family members, you know, anyone really. And here are the reasons. Number one, when you tell a friend or family member uh, you know uh, about how terrible you're sleeping and how much struggle you have with sleep. It, it, there is a real chance that you'll get this like weird look, like, huh? Like the complete like you know you know um, confusion on their faces, and, the, and 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 you may then feel that whoa, this is completely foreign to this person. There must be something wrong with me. You know something. I'm the weird one here. Like something is off. So that's number one. Like that, that reaction itself can be really like um, can can make you feel that something's wrong with you. That you're you know, kind of something odd is happening, which is not the case. It's just regular insomnia. But that that is one reason, and it, it can feed into that notion that something really weird and odd and bizarre is happening to me. Uh, so that's number number one. And, and number two is that. Um, that your friend or family member uh, very well may have suggestions for you. They might tell you like, oh, don't worry about it, or like try this valerian root that really helped me, or try this thing. And the thing is, they don't really understand what they're doing. Like when they're saying like, just don't worry about it. And then, you know, how do you do that? How do you not worry about something like that's not helpful at all? Or, or they send you down rabbit holes, like try this and then you try that and it doesn't help. Things become worse. And they say, well, why didn't you, why don't you try this instead? And et cetera, et cetera. So when you ask a fan or family member who doesn't really understand insomnia, they typically send you down rabbit hole. So that's reason number two. And now, Reason number three, and I think they're kind of getting increasingly important, like the reasons as we go along here. Number three is that if you tell friends and family members kind of like on an ongoing basis how much trouble you have sleeping, they will identify you as that person in their um, kind of circle of friends or in their family that has a lot of trouble sleeping, which will then lead to them like whenever they talk to you, they'll be like, so how are you sleeping? You know, how's it going? You know, you told me this and that which will, um, you know, they will kind of create an identity for you. You know, you'll be that person they know that, that can't sleep. So they always ask you about it, which brings more attention to the problems you're having. And as we know on this channel, insomnia loves attention, you know, it's, it's oxygen. So that's reason number three. Uh, you can be identified as that person with insomnia and that just brings more attention to it. That's reason number three. Number four, uh, which I believe is Another very important one, and as I'm saying this, I'm kind of blanking out on the number four, but it'll come to me in a second here. Um, number four is, um, what is number four again? Affirmation, of course. Of course, that's the one. <laughs> number four is um, that whenever you talk to somebody, whenever you verbalize or text or like, you know, whenever you, um, you know, you, 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 you talk about something, you, something's not no longer in your head, you're actually talking about it, 
then it becomes like more real, more substantial, you know, it, 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 it becomes more tangible. It becomes an affirmation. It's just like your trouble sleeping is just not something that you're kind of thinking about. That's, that's, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're actually talking about it. So it becomes an affirmation, you know, uh, an example of how strong affirmations can be is that if you, if you take a statement that you don't even believe in, like, you know, the earth is flat and you just say that, say that a couple of times, then suddenly it, it seems like, well, maybe it seems more real. So when you start, when you talk to your friends and family members about how much trouble you have sleeping, it affirms that it is a real problem, something really significant is going on. So the fourth reason is that affirmations, uh, uh, you know, talking about your troubles become affirmations of you having uh, uh, trouble sleeping. So those are the four reasons. Now, um, you might wonder, should I never talk about my sleep with anyone? Not at all. Here's the kicker. If anything, even the slightest little positive development happens, you know, if you're just sleeping a little better than you usually do, if you're feeling a little more refreshed, then you should tell the world. You should tell every single friend you have. You should text it to people. You know, you should write it down. You know, you should make it a huge deal. Because again, that becomes a positive affirmation now. That becomes, you know, an affirmation that you can sleep. There's nothing wrong with you. You're on the right track, etc. So when things are, when things are difficult, then keep it to yourself. When things are going your way, tell the world about it because that is going to lead you to a place of sleeping great forever. So with that said, I uh, hope this was helpful to you. And um, if you have any questions, email me. Daniel at insomniainsight.co or leave a comment here and I will be back uh, tomorrow in Ask Daniel number 18 and I'm going to answer a bunch of questions there. So until then, take it easy.